Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, update today, this is the market update for July. Yes, I realize we're a little halfway through the month, or I'm sorry, for June, uh, June 2013. We're halfway through the month, but um, and I, 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 it's been, been a couple weeks since I've done a video, so I'm doing a video. Um, okay, so probably starting a year and a half ago, I was doing monthly uh, market updates, and the two numbers I was giving everybody Total number of houses on the market, total, including houses, condos, townhomes, total sales on the market, including all of them. And um, the total number is on the market is 5,200. It's, it's, it's about the same as it's been. It hasn't changed substantially. It's a little more than it was. It was 4,800 for a while, 4,700. Um, number of sales in the last month, 3,668. That's 30 days. So we've got um, a very... That's a shortage. That's a very small number. What it represents is if, if we didn't put a new house on the market in less than two months, there would be no houses, anything for sale. But this number hasn't changed. So what that means is this is a equilibrium. It's a low equilibrium, but it's it's been steady. And what this, I wouldn't, uh, in equilibrium, I mean it's the equilibrium for the current market. Now, this equilibrium, though, has caused prices to rise. That's the way it's maintained that. So prices have risen and that's caused people to um, want to buy more so some of the frenzy to buy is because prices are going up so that's sort of what's happening here the other thing that's happening here is a large part of the marketplace meaning a large number of houses are not transactable meaning that you can't buy them they're locked up they're either the, it's a seller who won't sell because they bought an investment property and they're going to keep it forever which is one of the downsides of investor buyers is they tend to tie up the market for a long period of time. Investor buyers tend to own a house longer than an owner buyer tend to own a house. Then the other problem is you have the um, all the legislation that's happening that's going to make it even harder for um, people that are upside down to uh, banks to sell those houses to foreclose. So it, more incentive for those people to stay in the house. And of course they're upside down and they're not paying and there's all these incentives for them to stay. They don't want to sell. They just leave it empty or they just live in it for free. So um, that's persisting. It's going to persist. So, you know, we've talked about this now for over a year. It hasn't changed. Don't expect it to change. This flood of houses that a year and a half ago people said would hit the market in nine months or a year never happened. It's not going to happen. There's not going to be a flood of houses. It's now become so fragmented between all the other, you know, institutional purchases that are buying houses that the banks have sold off a lot of their notes to other entities whoever they may be that are sitting on them that it's just not there's no organized way that all these houses are going to hit the market so bottom line this is sort of my prediction moving forward inventory will stay low prices will continue to creep up are they going to be at one or two percent a month I don't know is it going to flatline at some point don't know is it going to go down don't know you know, but we've looked at what's happened over the last year and a half, um, and it's pretty much set the pace. And I think that we're going to continue to see this. Uh, so the bottom line is, you shouldn't be making a buying decision on a real estate like a stock decision because the transaction costs in and out are too much. And you should be looking for long-term investment on investment property. And if you're going to live in it, find a house you want to live in that you like, and don't worry about whether it's going to go up or stay the same or. Just buy the house for the reasons that make sense and not trying to sharpshoot the system because that doesn't work. So that's my market update for June 2013 here in Las Vegas. And I hope to see you on another video. Thanks.